Guys, in this video we are going to see how to create an ATM machine using C++ language. Now first of all, uh, to create that one, let's create some variables like we can create double or float because we want the decimal to right? So we can create double or float, it doesn't matter. I am going to put double here. Double and let's create three variables like uh, three doubles that is balance. balance and withdraw and deposit semicolon after that we have to initialize the balance so if to initialize the balance we can put up zero so that's going to initialize the balance after the semicolon and then integer input so here they can put whatever they want input Okay, after the semicolon, and the next one is uh, we are going to put something that appear on the screen that is C out. So we are going to make choices. So if they make the first choice, it will tell the, the to display the balance. To display to display balance, they have to press one. So to display the balance and put a new line and that's it for this one now for second option we can give second option okay so second option we can give to display I mean no to display we created already to deposit money into account plus two right so two is to deposit deposit money into account and put a new line and the third option we are going to create third option we can put a to withdraw more from the account so to withdraw more from account new line and the next one uh, we have to create something to exit so, so to exit to this one we can put uh, let's uh, put something totally different like we can put okay for type Type uh, negative sixty nine to exit. Exit new line. Okay, now we have to give them uh, give them to choose. So we put enter a choice. So they are going to choose one of them from these four. So here we put enter choice enter choice okay and then semicolon after that so whatever the choice that, that they are going to enter that's going to be input right so that's going to have a cn cn is whatever the value that's going to be input input and that's it for this one now to exit we have, we have to create a while loop so here we are going to put while input is so input should be not equal to six, negative 69 right so input should be 
not equal to negative 69 and then we can put okay switch switch input and uh, yeah switch input and a curly bracket and then case one case one so what what happens in one one is they are going to play display like C out the current balance in your account is because first uh, option we created display the balance so the that's gonna after we enter the first uh, it's gonna give us the balance so the current balance in your account is whatever the value we have so that's gonna show us the balance so we put balance and line and then break in case 2 we created a deposit money into account so when we deposit is the uh, it's going to show us see out enter sum you wish to add to your account enter the sum you wish to add to your account okay now let's go to the third part so break mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so after they enter we have to create some so input see in here we are going to deposit right we are going to input deposit right here <laughs> and balance So we are going to add with the balance, so this is going to be balance plus deposit. Deposit and let's go to the next one. Next one, C out. You have <coughs> entered in. You have entered in deposit in line and <coughs> break. Now let's move to the case three. Case three we created to withdraw more from the account. So C out. Let's put KS3 first, KS3. KS3 is to C out. C out. Enter a sum you wish to withdraw. Okay, and after that semicolon, then C in again. It's same thing, but here if they if we are withdrawing, we have to subtract, right? So C in is going to be withdraw the amount we are going to withdraw.
and uh, yeah so the more we are going to be throw and uh, again we have to create an equation that is balance balance is equal to balance minus withdraw and the next one is going to be C out after we withdraw C out you have withdrawn We throw <coughs> from your account from your account and end line, right? And then break mm, okay so default C out <coughs> you have entered in a wrong input and then end line okay after this we close the bracket close the curly bracket and after the curly bracket we put C out Enter choice and <coughs> semicolon after that C in input semicolon and curly bracket closed. So that's that should work, but let's make this thing better. Like let's leave some spaces and arrange them in better way. So here we have the current balance in your account is this, and uh, enter your sum account. Okay, then we have you have entered in this one, this one. Okay. So this should work. Now let's go ahead and run and see what happens. So here I'm going to click the run. There's something wrong before the balance. Okay, balance is equal to zero. Oh, this should be in right here. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now it's working. Now the first one is to display the balance if we press one that's going to display the balance and Two to deposit money into your account three to withdraw more from your account four to exit now. Let's go ahead and type one So your current balance is zero because we initially we set the balance to zero now Let's say we want to add some money. So for example, uh, I'm going to put enter choice 2 because that's to deposit money into account. So 2, they are saying enter some you with to wish to add into your account. So let's say I want to add that $375. Right. So you have entered three is 375 Now, if you ask to display the balance, 
is going to uh, show you 375 and let's look at the other choices uh, to add more money to add deposit now let's add uh, another 200 right so 2 again 200 so you have entered 200 now if you look at the balance that's going to give us 575 so let's click one and see so that's going to go so as 575 let's say you want to withdraw like a uh, uh, 50 dollar or something so let's say 55 dollar withdraw choice is three so let's go three uh withdraw enter the sum you wish to withdraw let's try 55 dollars okay you have withdrawn 55 from your account now let's display the balance and see whether we get 525 because initially we had 575 so now we had to have 520 now let's see the balance yeah the balance is 520 and this is working great right i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time